Are you ready for your panel? Okay, as we all know, we're all here for charity. And these are jokes, people. If you want to boo, you can boo, but just know that we all agree that we can be made fun of tonight, okay? Good, we good? Welcome to your first roaster, Vanity Fair! Your second roast is Davina Die For! Your third roaster, Go Go Fetch! Rowena <laughs> Wade for some reason! <laughs> This was written by her, so excuse me. Uh, Little Fair began doing drag in 2013 with her one way show, All the Devils. The show received critical appraise from View Weekly, The Gateway, and The Edmonton Journal. In October of 2013, Little co created the cult cinema inspired event, Homocidal, which ran here in 2015. She was the winner of Alberta's Next Drake Superstar 2016, and she's crowned Miss Evo. 2017. She's taken the award for Best Local Comedian from New Weekly four straight years in a row. She's performed across the country, open for queer icons like Peaches, Lady Bunny, and Scott Thompson last night. And you can see her starring as herself in Orange is the New Pink at Jubilation's Dinner Theater. Now, our first roaster is none other than Vanity Fair, uh, Lilith's illegitimate mother. Now, Vanity likes to date young. If you want to know how young, the sky's the limit, literally. <laughs> no, literally, like, legally the limit. <laughs> He's legal. Uh, if you want to know her age, it's equal to about as many times as Lilith's performed that local bar routine. <laughs> <laughs> Two things that have gotten very old. <laughs> Please welcome to the Mike Vanity Fair. How come you left all your notes up here? I don't want to read your shit. <laughs> Fucking assholes made me go first. I haven't decided if that's a, a blessing or a curse yet, but we'll decide. Do you like my dress? Yeah. I decided if I crash and burn tonight that I'll go down in style. So, here we are. Anyone hungry? <laughs> if you're interested in some cupcakes, you can go see Melinda Varga. Oh, there she is, just over there. Normally you can see Melinda on stage doing the splits, rounding her vagina into the stage. I tripped on her snail trail one night doing a cartwheel during one of my numbers. I'm not even kidding. It's like she's trying to rub her labia on the gates of hell and, you know, summon Satan and let him know that she's in heat or something. But we love you, girl, don't we? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Silver, all the age cracks, hey? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I was first on your list for invites to this show, correct? Yeah, I thought so. Lilith and I have a history, of course, but how many of you have purchased drinks from Mr. Silver over here? Isn't he creepy as fuck? <laughs> you approach the bar and he gives you like this handsome smile and then he whispers hello to you and smiles like a dork. <laughs> Honey, you're like that kid in high school that everyone was sure was going to become a serial killer. We're not quite sure about you. Yeah? Yeah? Alright. Up next we have Miss Go Go Fetch. She hasn't been around for a while. 
Gogo fetches like a, a dog with a stick. She goes, but she always comes back, don't you, girl? You've been away for a while. Where you've been hiding? We missed you. You look so regal tonight, too. That's a change. <laughs> go, go fetch me some gin, would you? <laughs> Rowing away. Oh, she is here. There she is. If only she would row away. <laughs> right? Everyone in this room has seen more of Rowena's ass on this stage than her own mother changing her diapers for years. <laughs> She's wearing tights to know, tonight, though. I'll give her that much. Are you wearing panties too, girl? Oh, that's a change. That's a change. Oh, this next girl, I don't know, I really have a hard time roasting her because she's so fabulous. Miss Cat Marlowe, she's one of the most clever performers to come along in a very long time. Would you agree? I don't know what it is about her choreography, though. I always fixate on her nails. Girl, after your last show, I was having nightmares about Freddy Krueger with, like, Google doll eyes and short shorts doing jazz routines for... <laughs> Nights on end. It was crazy. The nails. The nail choreography. She's all about that. Now, a lot of queens dropped out of the roast tonight, of course, and I'm sure Lilith is very sad about that. You're taking notes, aren't you, bitch? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Science Fair, of course, had to drop out. She's busy tonight collecting cardboard, cardboard boxes to expand her wig collection. <laughs> if you were at the show last week, you'll know what that's all about. <laughs> it's a shame so many, like Chelsea Horrendous dropped out, so many bitches, they were dropping like flies. Dropping faster than Davina Die For It and All You Can Eat Pizza Buffet. Oh! <laughs> don't, don't give her attention. Bitch just did it for pity. Pity and attention. Remember when one of your friends girl was posting photos from the hospital? Remember what you said? No. <laughs> I don't remember it. Oh, oh. Those selfies, though, with your bloodshot eyes and your life support systems and all that, yeah, mm-hmm. You already won the title, girl. You don't need any more pity votes. All right. Tashina was very kind to print my script in a very large font because I am old, as all these bitches are about to tell you this evening. Now, as you all know, Lilith and I have a history, a long history of feuding, but we've made up, right? Much like the Real Housewives, we've put all our drama behind us until next week when we rehash it all. <laughs> we found a way to move forward and we even did a show together, didn't we, girl? That was quite fabulous, yes. Lilith forced me out of my comfort zone. I did, like, ugly drag and all sorts of things I'm not used to. So standing up here to roast Lilith tonight is a little bit scary for me, I'm not going to lie, because I know at the end of the show she's going to get even, so... <laughs> And besides, like, being a cunt and a bitch just doesn't come naturally to me like it does for... <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> and I mean that with love, of course. I half expected to come up here tonight and trash Lilith on her makeup all night long, but bitch went to Winnipeg and she kind of got good at doing her face. <laughs> Would you agree? Although you're kind of running out of real estate on that forehead for those eyebrows. They, they keep getting higher every time. But she got all blendy and fady and contoured. You were a woman all summer long, weren't you, girl? Yes. Yeah. Lesbian prison scenes, all that good stuff. Birthday cake. Mm-hmm. Anyway, if any of you know Lilith, you know that she swears by her wet and wild cosmetics, right? She's always eager to give a new queen a tip about a product that Wet n Wild has, and of course Wet n Wild is all budget friendly, so she's the official spokes queen, you can see by the hashtags on her Instagram, the official, the official spokes queen of Wet n Wild. And I remember her once telling me about this lovely iridescent mermaid highlighter that she was so in love with. You know, like, if you want to look like a mermaid, like, surfacing through an Exxon Valdez oil spill, you know, that kind of look. You can use that for a commercial girl if they ask you, all right? I didn't understand it. <laughs> it just seemed like a homicidal thing. You surfacing through a wave with oil all over your face. 
in a matted JBR wig, of course, and you know, all that. It, you know, it's an idea, you don't have to use it. Easy, greasy, beautiful, wet and wild. I was chatting with my good friend Satina Loren. How many of you know Satina from Winnipeg? She's pretty fabulous, she's been here a few times. She said to me one day out of the blue, she's like, Vanity, she's like, do you think it's a coincidence that when Lilith goes to Winnipeg for summer fringe uh, festival season, that Bigfoot sightings in Manitoba go through the roof? <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Yes. Yeah, you, <laughs> she hasn't shaved her chest. She's not wearing tights. She's not tucked. She's got no tits on. Perfect target. <laughs> Serving Yeti realness, right? I said, girl, anything's possible, right? It shocks me that Lilith would go to Winnipeg every year. It's so hot and humid there. She's much more acclimatized to the Alberta tundra climate here with all that hair and those big feet. <laughs> Even in the sharpest stilettos, you guys, Lilith can skip across the thinnest crust of snow to stalk her prey without falling through. It's amazing. <laughs> Not those ones. Those are a little dull. You've been wearing those a while, right, girl? Is the one is the one heel still bent? They're actually new. Oh, they're new. Her heels are straight. Normally on one foot, there's like a, a heel that has a hook in it. I don't know how she stands on them, but she does. In all honesty, though, Lilith has truly come to be someone I respect for her talent and, well, I was going to say beauty, but no. <laughs> She's getting there, though. She's getting there. She's built herself up from a brand, as a brand from the ground up with hard work and determination. She's honed her skills as a comedian. You've really refined your skills, girl, because you were really, well, you were just kind of a cunt in the beginning there. <laughs> with that whole turn down for cunt thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've, you've got clever, and that's really amazing. So, everyone here <laughs> loves you for that. She deserves all the love, success, and shade that's thrown her way, without a doubt. Since ending her feud, whenever I'm at a show, I kind of notice Lilith seems to be watching me out of the corner of her eye as she's performing. She always knows where I am in the crowd. Like I'm gonna leap out of the audience and like attack her and strangle her for some reason. I don't know why. But I have a feeling after tonight that's gonna be my reality for the rest of my life because it's just gonna get even, aren't you? That's all I have, girls. Thank you. Have a good night. Now, me and this next roaster have a lot in common. We both like to take naps and eat pizza, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> and I guess now we know what to be the dice for. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's not delivery, it's Davina! Hi. <laughs> Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? Good. Mm. Isn't it great to see pensioners with their vision? <laughs> Benny, but I'm your age. I hope my lips don't disappear like you. <laughs> and I love what you've done with your hair. How did you get it to come out of your nostrils like that? <laughs> Okay, let's get roasted. <laughs> that was real, that was all real. Um, <laughs> hi, cats! Hello! Hi, I love cats. Right? One thing does bother me, though, about cats. Uh, since starting her drag career, her eyebrows have been on a mysterious journey. <laughs> they keep getting higher and higher. You know, next year, they're going to be as high as Lilith's receding hairline. Oh. <laughs> the best medicine, um, your face must be healing the world. <laughs> Doing your service. You're welcome. Go, go, Fetch is here. Yeah. Looking like a knockoff ice queen in her Ikea rug. Um, <laughs> you may be wondering, who is Go, go Fetch? And we're wondering the same. Um, 
Gogo is the only uh, homicidal girl who doesn't hate Lilith. Um, that's why she's the only homicidal girl here. <laughs> Oh, you're so fat, you could sell shade. Uh, that one was good. That made me laugh. Uh, and I only have one thing to say to you, Gogo. Stop doing ants! Please, God, stop doing ants! We're tired. <laughs> Melinda Virga, where are you, bitch? There you go. Hi, yes, I'm reading you. Um, so, you recently lost a bunch of weight. Congrats, right? Okay. Sure, sure. It's too bad you didn't lose the BO. Uh, <laughs> I know you will with your snaggle tooth. Um, <laughs> and uh, Rowena Way is here tonight. Where is she? Her, her, oh, oh, Jesus. Um, uh, well, Carmina Way is Edmonton's instantly, newest instantly hated drag queen. Much like previously uh, instantly hated drag queens uh, like Lucy Lips, uh, we can't seem to find her talent. Um, <laughs> also, much like previously hated Edmonton queen uh, Fifi LaRue, uh, she lost a bunch of weight in her past, um, though Fifi lost it through medicinal means. Uh, uh, Rowena lost it through, uh, <coughs> steroids, <coughs> uh, I mean, lots of hard work. Lots of hard work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you can definitely find Rowena, um, uh, begging every last, every last drag queen in Edmonton to put it there, that her in their show, um, and I'm here to say, stop it. <laughs> oh God, stop it. Um, and instead of putting on Beat Your Face Nights, you should probably take one. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna be two-faced, make one of them pretty. <laughs> and finally, uh, the bitch of the hour, Lilith Fair, Edmonton's premier drag comedian. I love her. Um, my, my favorite Lilith joke has to be, her personality, um... <laughs> so funny. People used to laugh at Lilith when uh, she told them she wanted to be a comedian when she grew up. Um, well, nobody's laughing now, so... <laughs> <laughs> Lilith is so evil. You're supposed to say... How, How evil, evil is she? You. Uh, she promised Science Fair that she would uh, have a chance, a chance of winning Anne's 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Lilith is so evil. How evil, evil is, is she? She gave makeup advice to Rowena, and now look what we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lilith is so evil. How, How evil, evil is, is she? she? She wished for my death on Facebook. That's real. <laughs> She's just drawn that way. Um, whoever drew your face, though, needs to restart. <laughs> just a little bit. And speaking of Lilith's makeup, um, I really wanted to paint like Lilith tonight, but I just couldn't find something in my makeup bag. And that was the will to look like a dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, Lilith's makeup was stolen out of her car by some homeless meth addict. And unrelated news, uh, Fifi LaRue is really excited about all her new makeup. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but Lilith was devastated that she lost so many Wet n Wild products. Um, how will she ever replace the $15 worth of cheap shit she lost? <laughs> and finally, Lilith is so ratchet. How, how ratchet is she? She doesn't have a mirror to do her makeup, so she just uses Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Rob, you think you were going to get away with not being roasted? Your doctor called with your colonoscopy results. Good news, they found your head.
Speed and Dive for everybody! Woo! Robbie did go to the audience, I'm really proud. I thought he was going to be hiding in his office. <laughs>